You are now listening to the IELTS podcast. Learn from tutors and ex-examiners who are masters of IELTS preparation. Your host, Ben Worthington. In this episode, we are going to look at 10 IELTS Task 2 questions and we'll talk through how to answer each one. But before we start, I just want to wish um, two students good luck for their exam. They've been studying online for a while, done a few classes. I'm pretty certain they'll pass, but uh, good luck, Shoko and Emilian from Japan and I think Singapore, but originally from Sri Lanka. But anyway, let's get cracking. So, first question. Do you think it's better... Do you think it's better for students to work before the university study? Why? Give reasons and specific examples to support your choice. I'm just going to jump into this with two feet. Let's go. So yes, my answer is yes. Why? Paragraph one, practical experience, you get contacts, you get on the job skills. My example, studies from the UK government Office of Statistics show graduates with work experience are twice as likely to find employment as those without. And then paragraph two, I would completely say the same, I'd be in total agreement. I would say yes, because it provides the student with better preparation, a chance to improve their social skills at work, and it closes the gap between academia and the private sector and furthermore it helps the student decide on the future before committing to the long term then for example I would say um, as my example I would say one out of six students will change their higher education course while at university okay so these are just rough plans that I would do let's do another one another one related to education. Some people believe that children should do organized activities in their free time, while others believe that children should be free to do what they want to do in their free time. Which viewpoint do you agree with? Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. So I've got two choices. I'm just going to go with one and stay on course and just say, for example, children should be free to do what they want in their free time. Now, for paragraph one, okay, so there would be lots of benefits if the children were allowed to choose what they do. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this viewpoint for paragraph one and paragraph two, because it's just easier to follow. And here's my reason, I'd say, there's lots of benefits, for for paragraph one, sorry, there's lots of benefits, letting the mind wander, children can express themselves, find themselves, and do what they prefer and excel at. Um, For example, if a student likes to write poetry, then in the break time, in the free time, they can start writing poetry, and they'll probably excel in this because they've got the free time anyway. I wouldn't write this because I'd just be overcomplicating it. I would just say they can do what they prefer and excel. And I wouldn't extend that point about poetry because it's difficult to give an example. So I would just invent an example which is believable. So I I decided on this example. Recent studies show 12% of school students dislike physical education. Therefore, if sports were chosen as the planned activity, it would be unfair to this minority. Therefore, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, um, allowing children free time at the breaks, um, in the recreation time, would be a much fairer choice something like that and also note that I didn't put a uh, recent study show 12% of school students absolutely hate physical education no I said dislike because it's softer it's more academic and I don't need to go so extreme when I'm writing these IELTS essays now second paragraph I would just say organizing activities could be 
costly for the school, they would need time to plan, they'd probably need to employ somebody, and that the uh, possible they might need to buy possible toys or equipment, I think would be the right word there. So I'd have changed that to equipment. And furthermore, and then I would just, to put my example in there, I would say, furthermore, studies show that the brain operates better after a distraction from a structured task such as studying. And then finish. Therefore, um, removing free time from the school syllabus and replacing it with planned activities would have negative consequences something like that okay so we've just done two education essays and then in the conclusion I just do a quick summary of paragraph one paragraph two maybe one or two sentences and the job has been finished but the important thing is that I got a decent plan to start off with which is what we're doing throughout all of this podcast. Next question. Many people say that globalization and the growing number of multinational companies have a negative effect on the environment. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Use specific reasons and examples to support your position. So maybe pause the podcast and have a think. Yeah? Think about what answers you would you use, what answers you'd write down, what examples you could include in your two paragraphs, and then listen to my ideas. Right, so I decided for this that I would just say yes. Okay, I'm just going to say yes, it's going to have a negative effect on the environment, just for simplicity, okay? Personally, I could probably develop a more complex argument, a more realistic one, but at the end of the day, this is going to be testing my language ability, not my knowledge of the global economy and the environment and the consequences and all this. So I'm just going to say yes, just for simplicity. Let's have a look. Here's my argument. Okay, I'll say yes, it's definitely damaging the environment. Um, increased interaction between countries, this is globalization, um, increases in goods and services traded, this means more production, therefore more resources are extracted and more uh, factories are being built to satisfy uh, this increase in interaction and trade. My example, of course when I write this it's going to be a lot more eloquent and more organized but these are just my ideas and I've got a solid example once I put these into the plan for the sentence guide for example then it all flows and I've got a strong coherent example um, paragraph and now for my example I'd say China the workshop of the world put a nice idiomatic expression in there um, China the workshop of the world uh, many cities, air pollution is prevalent, so air masks are needed, or air protection masks are needed. Okay, so that would be my um, answer for the first paragraph. And then I'll put, therefore, it can clearly be seen that production and increased trade and globalization is having a detrimental effect. And also note that... In the question it said negative effect. Mm -hmm. Now I don't want to in repeat that voc vocabulary so in my answer I'll say damaging the environment or I'll say a negative, no I won't say negative effect sorry, <laughs> I'll say a detrimental effect. Mm -hmm. Now let's have a look what I would write for paragraph two. Once again I've just taken the simple route. I don't want to overcomplicate this. The examiner is not a economics professor they are a, a language tutor language examiner so they're going to be just looking at my answer on its linguistic ability that doesn't mean that I can't uh, that doesn't mean that I can invent some crazy examples and say stuff like Mozambique has the same size economy as the United States blah 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 no still has to be realistic so let's have a look at my answer um, 
as you'll see if I just go back to the question this was important because it almost got me out it said uh, the growing number of multinational companies and globalization have a negative effect on the environment so the first paragraph I spoke about globalization the second one I will talk strictly about multinationals I've acknowledged the question in its entirety in full um, so I'll get full marks for that because I've attacked each each part of the question so I'll say yes it increases pollution uh, multinationals yes they increase pollution to satisfy demand from new global markets okay globalization requires solutions um, globalization requires global solutions often supplied by the multinational um, however this can have serious consequences for example BP Gulf of Mexico the oil spill destroyed the local ecosystem um, e terrible terrible consequences for the environment therefore multinationals can increase pollution and have a detrimental effect to the environment or whichever one I didn't use before so that would be my paragraph two okay just a few points followed by a strong example and then a concluding sentence for the paragraph then of course the conclusion and I have a solid essay now this is important this question is slightly different from the other ones okay and what we have to do here is first answer what do you think is the reason for paragraph one and then paragraph two discuss possible some solutions and provide examples so we've basically got the whole essay already prepared so what do I think is the reason let's have a look reason the reason is work-life balance increased competition in the workplace changes in society increase in the amount of working mothers put strain on the family okay so for my ideas I just made a list then when I start writing I'll well before I start writing I'll eliminate some of these but I've got a strong example in there as well because I'll say uh, students in the US uh, studies in the US show that families with two full-time parents are more likely to separate therefore this shows that finding the balance is incredibly difficult okay these are the reasons yeah full-time workers are gonna have difficulties I mean I don't know if it's true but it's probably true yeah if, show that families with two full-time parents are more likely to separate it's probably true if I really wanted to I could find the statistics and that's a real believable example so that's the reason why I think this happens paragraph two the solutions possible solutions well these could be using the conditionals and here you'll listen because I've used lots of collocations um, regulations from the government increasing maternity leave good collocation there more flexible working practices flexible working practices good collocation there reduced working week working week another one so these are the solutions I'm proposing a government led solution regulations regulating the problem and yeah what I just said increasing maternity leave more flexible working practices reduced working week and then for my example I say France had a 35 hour working week to help families blah 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 therefore solutions could be from the government could come from the government and then finish off the essay with the conclusion of course with the paragraph and with the introduction but just a quick tip the way I'm organizing these essays and approaching it I would like you to do the same is you read the question you analyze the question you get your ideas for your paragraphs your body paragraphs and then once you've got ideas and your examples the introduction and conclusion are easy to write because you already know what you're going to do so do not jump straight into the introduction when you're doing your essay make a good plan with ideas and examples first like what we're doing now 
Okay, almost finished. Next question, also about equality. And this is an example of of uh, getting a subject that you're not really that um, wise about. I mean, it's not my area of expertise, especially this question. Have a listen. Nowadays, both men and women spend a lot of money on beauty care. This was not so in the past. What may be the root cause of this behavior? And discuss the reasons and possible results. Hmm, this is quite tricky. It's not a subject that I am completely familiar with. So, first of all, first step, start getting some ideas and possible examples. Right, this one was a little bit trickier. Um, I had two paragraph ideas and I had to change my second one because I was going way off topic and I was talking about organic food. I'll tell you about it in a second. So anyway, my first paragraph would be that the reason is marketing. The beauty market for women is worth millions. Uh, is worth millions. Consumer goods companies see similar potential for the male market. Therefore, developing new ranges, e.g. L'Oreal for men, expert, um, is uh, potentially going to double the market. Therefore, the main reason is the potential opportunity. Okay, fair enough. When I explained it, it didn't sound very coherent, but these are just the notes for the essay. Okay, when you're making your notes, it doesn't you don't have to go for grammatically perfect sentences and strong ideas just get your ideas on paper then eliminate choose edit think of the examples and organize them put them into an order and then write your body paragraph or get a good idea for your body paragraph okay now for the second one I had to go back to the question and just check if I was on topic because the first one was saying the root cause of this behavior which I said was the potential to double the market and the reasons and possible results well I'd already kind of discussed the reasons with the first one so the possible results let's see okay it's difficult to say the results because it's still early yeah however the general trend is in this direction uh, and then I for example to prove my point I say shaving and deodorant were considered unnecessary before the 1950s actually I might just change that and say deodorant was considered because I'm not so sure about shaving and plus I remember seeing pictures of people without beards in the 1920s so it must have been necessary <laughs> but I don't know about deodorant so deodorant was considered unnecessary before the 1950s Therefore, the market will probably grow, and it will be completely, it'll be completely normal in the future. Okay. Now it took me a while to get to that point, but it's worth putting the time thinking about a strong, coherent paragraph, because if you start that wrong, then you're going to finish up in a bad place as well like I was going to finish up talking about organic farming and how people are caring for themselves more in the in the modern society which is it's very weak it's very weak to connect it to the actual question the example that I got is much more believable and much more solid well thank you for listening that's all of them I would I did plan to do 20 IELTS test 2 questions and answers, but it's 20 minutes. <laughs> I think we don't have that much time. So if you want more questions and you want more sample essays to look at, finished sample essays, Bandai ones, go to IELTSpodcast.com forward slash 250. That's IELTSpodcast.com forward slash 250. And also, if you're having problems with the writing task, it's not um i've helped a lot of students and i've got a lot of um students emailing me saying oh, thank you very much and stuff like that so and i also guarantee the the sentence guide okay they've bought the sentence guide 
um, been very happy with it and basically th there's no risk in it because if you're not happy with it even if I've corrected all your essays and you're still not happy then you can just send it back so have a look at that the sentence guide and also just send me an email if there's anything going on if you need a hand with anything okay and good luck with your exam you can you can do it it's just a question of putting in the time putting in the work nobody's got a magic solution it takes work so just keep on it and you can do it thanks for listening to ieltspodcast.com and remember to leave your email for updates and early access to new podcasts